Hello everybody, Game Crazy here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we uh, faced the new and his five friends, or the new new and their th and the three copies. Lol joke. Uh, uh, that's actually a crappy lol joke. Why did I say that? Uh, it's more of a lol reference, I guess. But anyways, and then we also got our pendant infused with the power of the mammon machine. And I couldn't move up there. I don't know why. Anyways, let's go up here to the store because we are kind of locked in now. We pretty much have to use the pendant on the door now that it has the magical power of the mana machine. As you can see, the doors, the door opens for us. I let go. No fear, Chrono. There is no, no doubt. Nadia's pendant is made of the Guru's rock. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, they are the evil doers I warned you of. How dare you think you could oppose me, you foreigners? You are worse than the gurus. Fools, Dalton, take them away. Yes, ma'am, the fire leave. Golem! Now this fight is actually cool in that you don't have to win it. Anyways, the golem here, iron orb. First, uh, he has a copycat ability, as you can see. He copies basically whatever attack you just sent his way. As you can see, he is very, very powerful. Oh, you little... I'm not gonna bother with revives because I am pretty sure it's just a you-can-lose-against-him thing, and it's fine. Yeah, see? Mwahaha, fear not. You won't die immediately, that is. By the time we're through with you, you'll be begging for us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion. Either way, we get trapped in here. And Janice and Shala come here. Hmph. Idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, we'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. They just might be able to rescue the gurus. Whee! Spinny. Are you alright? Quickly, escape from the palace. If you can, please rescue Melchior. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. Stop. Okay, I'll spare them. But in return, you will cooperate, Shop. Now, show me how you came here. Why do we comply? Hmm, you came in through here. Now, Shala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. N no, you can't make me. Obey me. Their lives are at stake. I... oh, alright. I'm gonna apologize here really quick. Um, basically, I'm gonna be really quiet. Pretty much after this part, or actually starting right now, I'm gonna start being pretty quiet. Uh, so sorry. Roommates just came in. I was kind of like, I'm gonna try and be quiet. I have a problem with it. I don't know. So, uh, anyways, sorry about that. See you next episode. It was kind of getting crazy. See you later.
most time away. Actually, ride back if we want, or we can take this path. Uh, space time, everyone. Sorry, this upload's gonna be late. Um, also, sorry for the random cut. Roommates came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, one came in. I think he went into uh, the room on his side. I'm gonna assume we have about five ish minutes left, so enough time to go through here. Bandits! I must report to Sir Qua Crawley! Sir Crawley, I'm pretty sure you're actually supposed to take on a bit earlier than this. Because, uh, he's kind of ridiculously easy. As the enemies are, as you can kind of see. Yeah, most guys actually say come here then. There's no bridge there, fools, there's nothing here. Let's destroy a ribbit, someone's coming. Let's grab a ribbit. Place much danger. Okay. Over here, this thing is very useful. The pages all the refreshment technique makes. So, anyways, you know, I just talk to the cat. Fish people come. Kick that can into the safe. Fish people come. Actually, it's probably a waste basket. Hit the A on the cheese, a mouse comes, and the fish people come. Use that save point! Fish people come. That one's actually the funniest one, I'm glad they did that. 
Uh, actually, I'll show it off. You try to use the save point. Fish ban. Fish ban. See. So hilarious. They take advantage of the fact that the thing actually makes a loud noise on the screen. Sir Crawley. He likes laughing. Tours back when I was going through here, but I said, ah, you know what, I'll just do the main path. And eggs and murder people. Uh, I'll just fast forward through that. Because we can kill everything in here with stupid amounts of ease. I'll show you just how. Let's see, 72, 97 to 72. That's how uh, low level you're supposed to be when you come here. Yeah, yeah. Most people do this very, very late, or uh, when the designers actually normally decided for it to be. This is Death Peak. We will not be going there for quite some time in the game. Instead, our main mission is to come here right now. Please do not disturb my slumber. Okay, fine. You can uh, sleep all you want. I'm gonna open the door that we know is back here because of Robo's flashback. Pendant shimmers. Walk in here. Huh? You get all these shine spots. To those who open the door, I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I, I once lived in the kingdom of Z. A great disaster in zeal threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Aeons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep in the, into the burrowing, deep into the world's core, burrowing I can't read. He began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he sum was summoned by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate like a giant parasite, he is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old. It is impossible to keep sane in such trying times, so before I lose it completely, I should safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. Oh, I long to return home, but I have grown free home. So you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against the lobs. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now my last door and take what you find there, my last invention, my wings of time.
Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory to this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge. Use the L and R buttons to select an era. Oh yeah, before you go, why don't you... Oh? Name my time machine. Sure, we're not gonna name it Epic. We will name it... Silver. Oh, we can. Uh, I was gonna name it the Japanese name Silver. Or Silver, whatever. We'll go with Epic. So, anyways, hit the A button. When you're here, go hop in. Mumble, mumble. Take off. Future, Apocalypse, Present, Middle Ages, Dark Ages, and Prehistoric. Let's go to the Dark Ages, which is where we were thrown out. Unbelievable energy. That's great, hit fast. And yes, it's capable. So anyways, I will see you next time, where we go do some more stuff in the Dark Ages. See you later. Bye. Uh, oh, and sorry for being quiet. Mitch might be here. Quiet, of course. Approaching. All that. Aimless later.